What's up guys, back at you with another video. Uh, sorry it took so long. I was trying to come up with a different format, something a little different to spice up uh, my videos. Um, so this video is gonna be a, a little different. It's gonna be more of an art vlog. I, I would call it a studio vlog, but I don't have a studio. So it's not a studio vlog, it's more of an art vlog. It's uh, just me showing various things I'm working on. Um, it's not gonna be like a, a, a eight minute sped up or 10 minutes sped up a uh, piece of work I'm doing. It's going to be various things that I'm working on, such as um, some sketches uh, and things of that nature. Maybe some stuff, maybe some stuff that I'm reading or some things that I'm thinking about doing pieces of. I'm still going to be doing uh, videos. I still got plenty of those, the old fashioned type, but now it's just going to be, I'm going to be having, you know, a, a bigger variety of videos for you to watch. So, uh, I hope you enjoy and stick around, and um, I'll catch up with you maybe at the end or at some point. I, I don't know what I'm doing here, so, yeah. So, what I'm about to do is um, this, these two panels I'm going to redraw. Well, I already redrew them, but I'm going to re-ink them because this character's face, I've, um, I've kind of refined it over time. It, you might not be able to tell. It's very much different. This is the... The redrawn version it doesn't look very different but i have refined his facial features a little bit so i will be re-inking it that's what i'm about to do in a second even though technically i have already um <laughs> i've already colored and put it on the page and everything i mean it's already done but you know i've changed his face up a little bit so i'm gonna have to uh redraw the canvas face looking weird you know what i mean so uh yeah, that's what we're about to do. So here's a piece of artwork um, that I'm working on right now. It's a, it's actually a vector drawing. It's not um, it's not really illustrated per se. I mean, it is illustrated, but I do it in vectors. Really, kind of tedious to do, but and it's te I guess it's not really comic fan art, but it is fan art it's from a movie that I like. So um, yeah, this is a work in process, but I'll uh, show you how I do it. Um, I do this a lot differently than I do my comic book art, so maybe it'll be interesting. Maybe it'll be cool content. I don't know. We'll see. So um, this is how it starts. Let's see here. Let's zoom you out a little bit. All right. So this is really how it starts. Um, this is a sketch. It's a very... Um, uh, it's not a very detailed sketch because really what I want to do is I, I really care more about the uh, the shapes, the abstract, like the shapes and the, the space that they activate, the positive versus negative space. So it's not, I don't do a really detailed drawing this way simply because the drawing is going to get so detailed that it's not possible for me to sketch out every single detail. Um, these are all palm trees and stuff. As a matter of fact, the drawing was so detailed that I had to take a lot out ultimately in the in the final result but um i know it's gonna get so super detailed that it kind of doesn't matter uh with the early sketch what i do with it because it's just it's gonna be just too impossible to do and really again it's more about you know when you look at a piece of artwork 
it's about the shapes that they that things make, not the necessarily the detail of things. So when a thing looks good to you, it, it's because of the shapes. You know, like for instance, people tend to be attracted to triangles. If you look at a lot of art, you'll see that a lot of things form into triangles. When you do things like that, when you're looking at when you're laying something out, you need to be looking at the shapes, not necessarily the detail. So I start off with the detail. I mean the shapes. Blah, blah, the shapes. And then so now I have like the main character here, the soldier who's way down here. And the way I, the reason I developed this style of making vector art is because I think I was making pieces of work that were so big there was no way to draw them out and there was no way to uh, scan them because they were just way too big but I also wanted to be able to shrink them down if I wanted to which vectors let you do that um, and also I just like the perfectness of vector lines um, when I draw when I do my inking my comic book art I really strive to have almost like perfect lines that don't have any variation in them it's not better or worse it's just my personal preference you know what I mean for my style so I start off with the main character and because so I would draw him scan him in trace him over in vectors and then I print him out and then do the next it's like I build it out so then I built start building out the the plants that are surrounding him so now I'm building them out here um, scan that part in trace over those in vectors and build it out more you can see there's there's more vegetation around him now and so it's building out and getting bigger and bigger little by little um this is just one side of it so all that has already pre all this here has previously been done and then i draw this part scan it in trace it this part you know scan it in trace it print it out and then some of the the aspects of it it starts getting to a certain size of being too, I know it's gonna get too big. Like, so for instance, I don't have a piece of paper big enough to print this out and then draw a very detailed tree. You know what I mean? Uh, I would need a really big piece of paper to draw the tree to the detail I want. So what I end up doing is I just draw individual these individual trees. So I draw them all individually. I draw this tree. I draw some grass. This is some grass here. I don't know if you can see it. Because uh, it's in pencil, uh, but some palm frond things, and I draw them, and I almost like put it together, almost like a like a, a a puzzle or something. You know what I mean? And I draw the individual pieces, and then eventually they end up going into the the final piece. Here's a a, a tree, you know. Here's another tree, and it, and then I just start putting putting them all together, and I I choose where they go pretty much not necessarily 100% based on this so the kind of fun part of the way I do this is sometimes I don't 100% know what it's gonna look like so the final vector illustration does pretty much look like this as far as the, the spaces that are being activated but not a hundred percent so I might take this tree and I might go I want it here or maybe I'll decide it's here you know here's another tree so you know it's just it's just, and it's put together, I scan them in, trace over them, and then, you know, put them in the drawing, in the final illustration. And ultimately, that's how I end up doing a lot of my vector drawings, because again, they end up being so large, there's no way to physically draw them, scan them in, and also, like I said, the level of detail that I want to put in them, um, I can't draw that small, uh, you know, I would have to have a huge piece of paper and then I wouldn't be able to scan it so um, but it's funny like this level of detail that I had in it originally all this that I, I ended up having to delete a lot of it because it was so dense you almost couldn't uh, appreciate you couldn't tell what was going on really it was so dense so uh, yeah so that's how this piece is coming along it won't be finished by the time this video comes out but it'll be finished soon it's funny too I keep making all these things that I can't they're not Instagram dimensions but that's just the way it goes I guess yeah are you enjoying the video so far I don't I don't know what's happening in the video because I'm, I'm recording this separately <laughs> I don't even know what you know what I'm saying like I don't know what I'm doing in the video so uh, but I hope you're enjoying it um, this was supposed to be uh, low effort but it's not it's actually a lot more effort than I expected because 
uh, with COVID and things like that. Um, and also, I'm kind of a homebody anyway. Kind of all I do is work on art. So th the idea was to show you things that I do, various things that I do, but I kind of just work on art all the time. So this is pretty hard to do. So I, I hope you all appreciate it. Okay, this is my second time filming this because the first time I forgot to turn to hit record. So uh, second time's a charm, the third time. Well, we don't want to do this a third time. So this is just me. I'm going to be talking about, you know, what I'm reading, uh, what kind of books I'm into, and what I'm, you know, might be doing future drawings about or whatever. Um, but also, just like I said, just stuff I'm reading, stuff I'm, I'm vibing on right now. This is a Apocalyptic Girl. And Aria for the End Times. This is by Andrew McLean, the guy who did um, who did the last video I did, uh, Hell Opera. Uh, he did this comic book before he did Hell Opera. And uh, I have yet to read it. I just got it. But it's just, you can see it's pretty nice looking. Pretty beautiful comic. I, um, I love that illustration. She love my camera work. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty dope comic. And, um, I mean, from what I visually anyway, I'm sure it's pretty good too. But if it's uh, if the story is good, which I'm sure, you know, I mean, his stories aren't that serious, so I'll probably, I'm sure I'll like the comic, and I um, I like it visually anyway, and um, I'll probably be doing a um, illustration about this at some point because I just love Andrew McLean. He's just got really cool art. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool. And what else do we have here? This is Hip Flask. This is kind of old. Um, this is the craziest concept because basically this comic book is about, about like, imagine Blade Runner, but if, instead of Harrison Ford, there was a hippo. So this dude is like a detective hippo in the future. And um, there's these like uh, animal people you see that and they were at one point soldiers but anyways it's funny because this comic book wasn't really meant to be a comic book it was meant to be uh look at this awesome blade runner kind of art oh so good look at this look at, uh, look at this detail i don't know if you can see it very well but it was it was actually not meant to be a real comic book what happened was um richard starkings has a they make comic book fonts their comic craft is a company that makes comic book fonts. So he was just used as a character in the ads for the comic book fonts. He wasn't meant to be a real character. So you know how when you watch a television show and on TV, they'll be watching an absurd television show that like the Simpsons watch Itchy and Scratchy or like on Robocop that dude would be like, I'll buy that for a dollar. This is kind of like that. It's not, it was never meant to be a real thing. So, but then they decided, no, we're going to turn around and make this a real thing. So, they actually tried to make a comic book out of it, and it's pretty damn dope. Uh, this, and I love Ladrone's art. This dude is awesome. Very much, I mean, he has very much Kirby influence. I mean, he pretty much draws like Jack Kirby, but his, his, his watercolors are just what really makes it. Uh, I love his watercolor. But, yeah, it wasn't meant to be a real comic book, but it is, and it's pretty dope. This original, this original series, though, I can't find it. I can get the first issue. I already had the first issue from back in the day. And um, I can't find it. I'm going to have to, maybe I can find it on eBay or something. I don't know. But it's not on Comic Craft. I mean, Comic Comicsology. It's not on anything. So I can't find it, even a digital version of it. Uh, which is a shame. Because there are other ones that they've done. But they weren't done by LeDrawn Art. So I, I'm just interested in this LeDrawn Art. And, um,. So yeah, it's kind of a shame because I really wanted to do an illustration of this uh, comic book. Super cool. But yeah, that's Hip Flask. Uh, let's see. This is um really old. This is like, what is it, 90-something? What is this, 1990? Electra Lives, Frank Miller, Lynn Varley. Um, this is my favorite kind of Frank Miller artwork, and this is when Lynn Varley is putting her watercolors on it. Um, it's the same Frank Miller type art that he did in Dark Knight Returns. 
it's it's a very it's very much an open line style so that she can do a lot of painting not not a lot of ink um man this is so old the pages are yellowing um but you know very like look how open these lines are with with, with matt murdoch right there not a lot of shadow and it's just made for her to be able to paint and i just love her work <clears throat> i don't she was messing around with digital and i just like later on like in dark knight 2 i just really didn't like it but her work on this is just back in the day man they were just a awesome duo man like so beautiful i love her her uh painting and i love his open when he does his open line style it's just so good so i'll be doing an illustration on this uh, even though i've never really been a big uh i'm trying to get in there i've never really been that big of a daredevil fan and it's interesting because in his comic book at no point i mean it's really more about electra i guess but at no point does he have his daredevil costume on uh but yeah i will be doing a uh, illustration on this so look forward to that and what else we got here sun bakery by uh this is really just like an anthology thing by uh Corey DeRay lewis this was the dude who when i did the um shark knife illustration so i love this dude's work um and i just got this this um anthology of his i don't think i'll be doing anything with it because they're all very sh like kind of short small stories because it's just a collection of a lot of stuff he's done so like there's not a lot of depth to him of course there wasn't a lot of depth to shark knife but more than this you know what i mean so yeah this dude's art was just beautiful look at that i love the energy in his lines and uh loves video games got this little metroid homage this character called arim look at this so yeah probably won't be doing much with this because like i said he can't there's not much to it there's not much story it's just like really cool uh really cool art and just just kind of light light-hearted fun look at this really good design sense to this guy so big fan of his and maybe i'll um buy something else of his and do some art of it so yeah that's sun bakery i like an anthology of your, all your own work like not an anthology with different artists and writers but just it's an anthology of you you know i love that that idea so and then i have this comic book uh dalston monsters by Dil raj man i have yet to read this i i really um Dil raj man is a dope illustrator i mean one of the coolest illustrators out there i don't know if this comes through but God, this dude can illustrate. I I don't really, I can't really say I haven't read it yet, but not really. I don't know if I would say his art translates that well to comic books. Um, but as an illustrator, I mean, this dude is just amazing. So, yeah, I um probably not gonna do anything of this because I bought it more for the art. You know, I like I tend to like action in my comic books, and this is not really an action comic. It's just like a, you know seems to just be a weirdo indie comic which I'll, I'll buy a weirdo indie comic book just for the art but i don't think anyone wants to see me draw something from this when really the only <laughs> purpose to this really is how good the artwork is anyway to me so yeah that's about it um so i don't know what this just was but uh, i hope you enjoyed it so that was a video uh i hope you enjoyed it um like i said i don't really even know exactly what i did in the video because i recorded these at different times but um i, I uh I, I i hope it's good <laughs> um but it was just an attempt to give you a little something different to show you like what i tend to do uh what i'm into what i'm reading and what i'm you know the type of stuff that i'm up to um i thought that might be a little bit more interesting to show um i forgot to talk about my comic you can check it out at theheavy.com uh link in the description 
uh, cool sci-fi military drama. Uh, so please do check that out. And um, yeah, I don't know what to say because this video's format is so different. But uh, I'll get back at you next time. I, I don't know if next time is going to be the, the other kind of video or this type of video again. We'll see what happens. But uh, until then, uh, take care and stay safe. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.